Hello YouTube, it's Topi Remes and I'm going to review a puukko made by John Neiman Tools in Latvia. And this puukko was designed by me and uh, yeah, the John Neiman Tools were the guys in the there were kind enough to send a free piece to me and uh, and I say that I could I could make a video out of it and here we are so let's get to work all right so I designed it so I drew this uh, this picture with the knife from up and right and uh, with the sheath it's, as you can see the sheath is a little bit different so John Neiman tools took a little their own touch to it but that's okay i think this sheet is really cool looking and look it has this uh, cool looking dangler and it uh, sits in the belt really well and uh, it has some like john neiman tools they use these i think these are like baltic uh, um, symbols and uh, there you can see the john neiman jn to uh, logo and in the knife you can see the carved or laser cut John Neiman handcraft in Lettland with which means like Latvia and the blade is really cool looking Damascus steel with carbon steel and um, like 15 and 20 nickel steel and they fit perfectly well together as a blade ma material so so you don't have to have like laminated high carbon steel in the middle okay let's test how this baby works actually in action so this is um, it's not birch but it's dry and uh, let's let's try okay so normally you're like carving like this it it does dive into the wood really well and we can make like shaving shavings like like this and it's i think it's it works pretty well but with with this secondary bevel i'm not really used to it so i have to really like think about using this like a little bit different and I have like Finnish buko here with me and I can show you the difference between the blades. Can you give it to me Daniel? Yeah, I have it here. Yeah. Right, thanks. So firstly the Finnish knife has a little bit wider blade and it doesn't have any secondary bevel and if we can watch the finish book in work it's really like light and easy to work as you can see with the finish book this this works really well because it doesn't have any secondary bevel and this has pretty like steep angle in the secondary bevel and because of that it's like you have to really think about how the blade is in your hand but but you can make make this with this too and it's not i haven't sharpened sharpened it and it's not like hair shaving sharp but you can obviously sharpen it yourself and make it really sharp and uh, but yeah it works relatively well and i don't have any problems with it all right and with batooning we can try that as you can see it doesn't really really um split the piece so and i don't want to twist because because the blade it's so thin it doesn't have like wedge like uh, wedge like 
shape to it as much so you can't really make the baton with with it really well but as you all know knives are not like made for it so so this is mainly hunting knife and i think that when you are like skinning and when you are like doing opening bird or something like that that works just just well for that okay um real finnish buko has to be able able to cut through the finnish sausage package and look at that it's cutting pretty well and we can pry it open and see if we can make some some uh, streaks or cuts in the sausage and look at that it's just beautiful i don't have to push just a little bit of pulling and we will have a nice nice snack here Now there is a German test about slicing sausage. Go on, Daniel. Okay. Let's see how it performs. Ah, it's tearing the sausage a little bit. But apart from that little part there, it seems to <laughs> make the German test. <laughs> <laughs> It's passed. So I think this knife is really good looking. They really nailed the design and uh, it works well. So what could I say? I'm happy with the product. Look, you can see smoke. Mm. Somebody else is making the fire too. Mm -hmm.